everyone. I thought let's do a Labyrinth Through Time demo. So what I'm going to show you. The base kit is the Labyrinth Through Time with a booklet and it's in a tinned kit and you'll hear in a rattle. I'll show you why. And you've got the option now with this kit to also order, which I think there's only one left, of the great big table mat. And this is a 18 inch by 18 inch table mat, which I think is about 53 centimetres square. And um, this is just an extra option that's made of velvet, which is really beautiful. But let's go through and have a look at the kit itself. So in the booklet here, it's a whole booklet and I've actually put the pictures and I've circled bits and bobs and done it step by step. But you also get a video mini course slash demo on how this system is used. So what's in the kit? We have cards. And with our cards, there is 25 picture cards and 11 word cards. And the 11 word cards are pretty much what I've got around here, or some of them, what I've got around here. I do this, then 3, 6, 12, and so on. So they are the cards that come in the kit. You also get an amethyst pendulum on a necklace chain. And I've done it on the necklace, the reason for, you can actually wear it. So uh, you don't have to keep it just locked away in tin. You also get a 12-sided dice. And you get the um, reversible spandex mat. So this is made so it's fully washable. And on this side is all your mediumship side it also is predictive reading and we are bringing in multiple systems so we're bringing in the characters which are the same as the actual word cards so that is telephone cherries and so on car and so on so that's where the 25 symbol cards come in the clock is about timings and clock is also used for numerology the alphabet is quite often used for names of person, place, or it could even be an object, a thing, person, place, or thing. So that's that side of the mat. On this side of the mat is just the, uh, I call it my life wheel, it's just the general life wheel, which is really great for them, super quick readings. Um, you can either do a random scatter or you could go through and put on two charms, three charms, whatever you fancy on each section. So what, oops, uh, what is actually in here? I have these optioned with and without charms and the main reason is is a lot of you already got my stuff have already have charm kits and you can use any charms that you like. This here is a hundred charms in there and that is using both my starter kit plus the add-on kit. So they fit really well just the hundred charms in your mat and the whole lot just goes in the tin. So how do we use it? Now, the velvet mat, I will add though, is only one-sided, not reversible. And the main reason I've done it this because this is the most popular side that people go for. So, let's have a look. How do we use it? So, if we're wanting to talk to spirit world, um, we use our pendulum. And the very first thing is, and it's why I've called this Labyrinth Through Time, and Labyrinth Through Time is actually a registered brand name under my international trademark of Team with Karen. So with this, and why I've called it Labyrinth, you know how in a kid's puzzle game you start with your outside going in, this one you start with your inside going out. And it's the Labyrinth, and it's a bit like the maze on where it takes you. So we start with a pendulum in the centre if we want to talk to spirit. And this room is always full of spirits. So, and sometimes I get the random doorbell that happens even during our videos. So, and I always say it's just the spirits that are around this house, this room. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, 
is spirit present with me today now when i use a pendulum my yeses go anti-clockwise my no's go clockwise my uncertains will either go vertical or horizontal but yeses for me are anti-clockwise a lot of people it's the opposite i'm just wired differently so first thing i'm going to go is the key so i'm hoping you'll be able to see down the chain so is there spirit here And beating sort of little shakes. This going tiny little yeses. All right. I would then go to the lady and I'm going to say, are you female? Okay, it's giving me yeses in my female, which could be my mum. So when you are looking at age appropriate people, so we know spirits here, we know it's female. I'm going to go to rose which would be mature age female and child would tell me if it's a young spirit so are you mature age female all right that's a yes my mum's name was joan so i'm going to go over um to the j and say is this you joan and i'm getting a yes straight away okay so that is my mum we then go through, and I'm using the charms, and I'm going to ask the question is, is there a message you want to tell me, Mum? So, and I'm actually just very light sprinkle. Anything that comes outside, I don't know, it's off camera, the snail went outside off the mat. So once it's off the mat or outside the circle, put it back in the pot. Don't need it. Charms, it doesn't matter if they are upside down, just simply turn them over. Someone asked me once about if charms land upside down, do you use the negatives? And I'm thinking, hell no, because there's some days they all land upside down. So what does that mean? You just don't get out of bed for that day? Um, no. So they are just inanimate objects, so turn them upright. So when I'm asking, mum, what is it you are trying to tell me today? I've got a couple of things here and we also look at what they touch on what symbol and sometimes I'll just explain these actually are all touching an image but sometimes you might get say a symbol that might be in between some um, even if that was there it would be in between three so you would actually read either that on its own but I would also bring in the three of what it's touching. Same if it was in between two letters, I would still look at that too. So if they don't land particularly on a word, a letter or a number, um, sorry, a image, a letter or a number, utilise what it touches or close to. Okay, so messages from my mother. Seahorse is very interesting and it's touching woman, which is both my mother we know is present, but me as the female. And seahorse literally means sail gracefully but offload any burdens that you are carrying. And it's also touching the anchor, which tells me some of the burdens that I am carrying are keeping me stuck in a position where I probably are not moving forward, I'm not liking. So it's very interesting given what's currently around me. Um, the kangaroo is a very nurturing sign. I'll turn him up because he's got his little joey in the pouch. Um, kangaroo is, with the joey in the pouch, is literally nurturing. And it's on the ring, which is can be relationships as, you know, me and Linus can mean add more nurturing and love into your relationships. But ring, when you're talking about one person as self specifically, would tell me, nurture what is most valuable and precious that is with me and what is in me. The clock here is touching the pipe and the number three. It's just on the edge. Clocks are about timing and often it means slow down. You're moving way too fast and what are you missing along the way? It's also an interesting, it's touching three, because three can tell me the next few weeks up to the next few months is very important for me in all about timing. The number three itself in numerology is about expression and creativity. 
and then I've got the pipe and pipe is often a father figure and like you've got mother figures and father figures or mature age men with lots of knowledge and wisdom so again would tell me am I looking at the right people around me for knowledge wisdom and advice am I really requiring that um, fatherly um, embrace that type of feelings and again slow down in order to feel the lady dress represents the female in our charm casting so the lady dress here would again tell me um, nurturing creative expression for myself but am I taking the time in order to feel it we have the butterfly touching cherries cherries mean beautiful sweet opportunities in life and it's funny because they often mean you have multiple choices and either the path you choose is equally good, such as in equally sweet, and I need to probably seriously look at the paths that I am choosing. And the butterfly is fly freely, enjoy the transformation. The, oops, sorry, the ship is about um, travel long distance it's also sits on water which is emotions and it means the journey so the key is telling me opening up the journey but I also need to probably open up some of the emotions on the emotional journey then over here we have the peacock on the letter Z peacock is step out in the front row um, fan the tail feathers when you step out in the front row with great um, pride and confidence no one sees the shit in the back row because they can't see past your tail feathers. Your Z can be, yes, a place or a person with Z. So it could be a, a Zeta, it could be a Zachary. Um, the Z itself is what we call a, a number eight energy. And so Peacock with number eight energy and a number eight in numerology is all about great abundance, business, ambition, drive, focus, grounding, um, very strong grounding. So the peacock can be, yes, I do need to probably look out there and step out more in front. So that's one casting. You can do multiple castings. Now I've gone that far. Or you can bring in your cards. Now I'll just bring in the people cards. So I don't need the um, word cards at the moment. And I'm just going to look. So I can now ask further questions so we're not just limited to that already that is a huge amount of information so I'm looking at that in a couple of areas where she's advising me to push forward but it's like pushing through some of the emotional barriers and literally offloading burdens and crap that I do not need so I'm going to actually move over two areas into the castle which is business but I'm also then going to go to heart and these are the two areas that I'm gleaning the information out of that so I want to know more about business what's really going on there bottle medicine bottles would tell me the health the well-being of the actual business do I need to add more life to the well-being of the business? If I do add the well life of the business, what do I get? The sun, which is positivity. It's a light source. It radiates warm and fuzzy. So that's interesting to see those. So now I'm going to actually come down to the emotional side. Car. Car or the automobile, again, means... I need to ramp things up, I need to move forward, and cars often enjoy the ride, offload the passengers. It's interesting how it's coming a lot to tossing stuff I don't need. So we've got another, cherries. The opportunities are there for me to take. So that's given me some really good advice. So I can then bring in um, any of my word cards. I'm actually going to bring in these two. What is hidden and further advice. And I'm actually going to do charms. So I'm just going to grab a couple. So what is hidden? 
that's an interesting hidden support that that's a bridge um, and the cane so it would tell me what is hidden a support network that I'm not seeing but a bridge here would tell me I am on the right path but why am I not seeing it so because a bridge means where I stand today and where I'm heading the bridge is not broken so it literally means continue the journey so what's the further advice dragonfly and the chair the chair is again sit contemplate in comfort but get out of the comfort zone and the dragonfly is a beautiful symbol that spiritual guidance will always be around me but it's very similar to butterfly which again means um, changes transformation so it's like sit and work out the changes so it's very interesting then your dice comes into play as well and I can ask the questions on okay if I sit and contemplate when will I see changes and this is why you have a 12 sided dice because 12 represents 12 months and the 12 can be 12 days 12 weeks 12 months so I'm asking the question when will I see these changes 10 so it tells me something on the 10th day from now is pivotal to me. And when I say pivotal, lots of people, when I mention that word, they think, and I know from my clients that come to me for readings, and when I say on the 6th day or the 7th day, and this thing on the 10th day, something pivotal will happen. That pivotal could be me sitting in a cafe, having lunch with my girlfriend, Thula, and we could hear an, a conversation, overhear a conversation by a table next to us where it may be a trigger word or a sentence that they've said that will give me that aha moment. So when I say pivotal, it tells me pivotal day in 10 days, 10 weeks, and it may take up to 10 months. Hope not but it could take that period of changes. So that is a very brief overview on how you do mediumship readings with Labyrinth Through Time. So it is, like I said, an absolutely mind-blowing experience for yourself, your friends, and whoever you choose to use it with, because it just keeps on, add on, add on, add on, and add on because it grows and it's like you are not just stuck to say there's three cards and that's it and you can go layer or layer or layer this is layer upon layer think of an amazing uh, black forest cake where they have um uh what do you call it um layers of cream and so on yeah so it's just yeah the layers upon layers upon layers and um, so think black forest cake, cherries, cream, and so on. So that's where it is layer upon layer. Thanks for listening, and I'll have a look at the other side soon.